Is it good? Is it lined up? <coughs> okay. What's up guys, welcome back to Thugged Out Thursday, your TLG weekly commentary. Now I will be uploading this video on the Thursday of November 26th, so if you happen to be watching on that date and you need something to help pass the time before you stuff your face full of loads of carbohydrates and a well prepared rather sexy turkey. Okay, <laughs> I just want to say happy Thanksgiving to all of you guys out there. You know, thank you for motivating me to get up every single day and to create this video content for you. But before we get started with our topic of discussion, quick shout out to our thug of the week, Gamertag Jeebus Crust. Now, this guy is an active duty member of the United States Army. And in the spirit of this holiday, I just want to say thank you from all of us for defending the freedoms of our country. You're a great role model, perhaps an even more badass gamer. Okay, I've played a few matches with him. He does wreck noobs on a daily basis. <laughs> but congratulations, man. You definitely deserve a shout out. Now, if you yourself want to get the Thug of the Week or perhaps nominate one of your friends or family members, guys, all you have to do is send me an email to thuglifegaming at yahoo.com letting me know what makes you a thug. Now, today, guys, we are going to discuss and determine which Call of Duty game is the very best of them all. Ooh, I just touched a few sensitive nerves, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, because everybody has an opinion on this, which Call of Duty game they think is the best. And because I can't really shine the spotlight on just one of these titles, first off, we're going to talk about which game I personally think has the best multiplayer. Then we're going to discuss which game has the best campaign. And then by the end of the video, we're going to determine which title is the most well-rounded. So to start things off, which game has the best multiplayer? For this, I'm going to go ahead and give it to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Fair 3. Ooh. Ooh. Some of you just went, what? <laughs> nah. Let me explain myself here. So, I know Modern Warfare 2 gets a lot of credit for expanding on the kill streaks, right? Like, it was the first game that let you select your type of kill streak, and I get that. But Modern Warfare 3, for me, really expanded on those kill streaks. But one of the bigger reasons is the multiplayer map level design I thought was extraordinary. Um, a lot of them took place in very iconic locations. Great examples of this would be the multiplayer map Resistance, which took place in Paris, France, and Downturn, which took place on Wall Street within New York City. But because these environments were so recognizable, it actually helped you to further appreciate the culture and to make the gameplay a little bit more fun. Now, is that the only reason why I picked this as the best multiplayer? Absolutely not. The biggest reason why I had more fun playing this game than any of the other Call of Duty titles is because of the implement of the Call of Duty Elite application. Now, I don't know if you remember, but this was an app that you could get on your phone, but also on your console as well, that you actually had to pay for if you wanted to fully utilize it. Now, that sounds like it sucks, but for the most part, it benefited you a lot. It gave you, you know, very detailed statistics on all of your gameplay so that you could study these statistics and improve as a player. It had a community section where you could check out other people's Call of Duty game clips and like the top of screenshots of the week you know things of that sort it was just a lot of fun but my favorite section is what was basically the tournaments section now very frequently throughout every single week they would have these you know three hour game type competitions that consisted of things like competing for the most kills in team deathmatch or the most flag captures in CTF and depending on where you placed in these competitions you would either get a gold silver or bronze badge for you to show off in your profile. Now, in order to get gold, you had to place in the top 10% of the world. So it was actually very hard to achieve, but it was a lot of fun to show off to all of your friends. But if you happen to be one of the top placing players, you actually got legitimate prizes. 
Like, we're talking Call of Duty laptops, book bags, uh, you know, COD skateboards signed by the entire development staff. Like, a lot of cool shit. <laughs> like, and to me, it's a little bit uh, more of a casual form of esports because it is taking place in public matches. But dude, regardless, it was super competitive and it made the multiplayer a lot of fun. So, but now let's talk about which game I consider to have the best campaign. Now, this might come as a surprise to some of you, but I'm gonna go ahead and go with Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Now, hear me out, okay? <laughs> because Advanced Warfare is one of my least favorite installments of the COD franchise, but that's strictly because of the multiplayer. I didn't like the score streaks, the level design, customization, or the weapons, for that matter. But, you know, multiplayer aside, this campaign was phenomenal for two major reasons. Okay, first of all, the character development for this game easily the best the franchise has ever seen and I and I say that very seriously okay the implement of Kevin Spacey was a huge success his incredible voice acting, the motion capture of his iconic mannerisms, and even just his ability to switch from protagonist to antagonist on a dime really helps create an engaging experience for players that carries the plot forward. Now, adding on to this is the second reason why I consider this to be the best campaign, and that would be due to the variety of gameplay. Now, don't get me wrong, every single Call of Duty has a huge variety of gameplay, and they somewhat kind of depend on that in order to please fans and critics, because, you know, they are releasing games on an annual basis, so they consistently have to come up with new gameplay ideas so that each title feels refreshing. Great examples of this are the stealth mission, where you use a freaking grappling hook to snatch up enemies from afar, you drag them towards you, and you snap their neck in the bushes. Okay, there's even a mission where you're jumping from the top of one car to another vehicle on the highway at top speeds and you're ripping enemies out of their car in slow motion. Now, these scenarios feel unique because they are utilizing the gameplay mechanics that are specific to advanced warfare. And in all reality, you know, they don't come off as being rushed, right? Because a lot of the Call of Duty campaigns seem, you know, super extreme and Hollywood-esque, you know, because there's so much action and blah, blah, blah. But the plot for Advanced Warfare is actually very well structured. I mean, you have your slower missions, right, that are a little bit more suspenseful, like your stealth mission and creeping around in dark corridors, and slowly things start to build up into your more intense scenarios. But it's this variety of the plot structure, as well as the character development, that makes this game really stand out for me. Now, we've talked about what I believe to be the best Call of Duty multiplayer and campaign, but which installment is the best? most well-rounded in the series. Well, for this one, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna go ahead and kick it old school, okay? Now, hold on a second. We're not going back to, like, World War II old school. Okay, don't get me wrong. I got grimy on some Call of Duty 2. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But we're not taking it back that far. I think the most well-rounded Call of Duty of all time, for me, is Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. This game contains everything that we have talked about here today. I mean, think about it. From the competitiveness and level design of its multiplayer to its character development and plot structure of the campaign, it took all of that and combined it into what I consider to be the most revolutionary first-person shooter of my generation. Now, I say that with sincere honesty, because you guys know me, like, Call of Duty is nowhere even close to being one of my favorite video game franchises or series, but I'll admit when somebody changes up the game. Uh, no pun intended, of course. <laughs> but, dude, I mean, when you really think about it, guys, okay, this multiplayer doesn't contain the wide variety of kill streaks that you and I are now used to, but it was the first title to implement them. You had your UAVs, Predator Missile, and your attack helicopter. But, you know, the other big thing that this game brought to the table was a very detailed, customizable, personal loadout system. Now, you know, prior to this, there was FPS titles that had, you know, somewhat of a loadout. You got to pick, you know, what type of weapon you wanted. And if you were feeling like, you know, super crazy that day, you might be able to pick a type of grenade. 
you know, hey, it depends on how crazy you're feeling. <laughs> but, you know, for the most part, you know, they didn't have a loadout system that was as detailed as having multiple weapon attachments, a completely new perk system, grenades, as well as multiple forms of equipment. Now, with this, you have the start of what has become an iconic storyline between Captain Price and Soap. The character development throughout this entire campaign is just as impressive as the variety of gameplay, right? Because everyone remembers the ghillie suit stealth mission, okay, easily the best Call of Duty mission of all time, to even the memorable scenario of the nuclear explosion going off while you're in the helicopter. I mean, everything about this game was so well structured and ultimately created a new standard for developers in the FPS genre. But there you have it guys, those are my selections for the best Call of Duty games. Now again, feel free to leave a comment below with your opinion on what you think are the best Call of Duty installments. It'll make for some very fun and creative conversations below. Now, take it easy on each other, please, because I know how passionate you all are about your duty of call. <laughs> but thank you for tuning in guys don't forget to click that thumbs up button share the video with your friends and if you're digging the content then feel free to subscribe all right but i'll see everybody here in a couple of days keep living debt life because that is what thugs do i'm out of here guys take it easy